Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games today and see how we do. Uh, last time we played Central File Rook. Today, let's keep at it. Worked pretty well. Let's continue it and see if it continues working or... I don't know. Maybe our opponent will force us to play something else. I wish they'd show the animation a bit more. Good luck. Oh, we got a fourth file rook opponent. So in that case, let's just play this instead. Um, sure. That ain't no fourth file rook. What is this? <laughs> I was gonna play third file rook. Yeah, let's let's play third file rook. It's a fun one. I changed my mind. I'm entitled to that. Alright, since they start to castle, we start to castle. Um, let's push the edge pawn and see if they return the favor. Because the one castle I'd rather not face today would be Anaguma. Where they tuck the king into the corner. Alright, so we've discouraged that. So yeah, let's just play a quick... Uh, half Mino Castle, and then figure out what we attack next. This is kind of tense. Alright. So there we've collected the effect for Half Mino. Um, hmm. Interesting. There's a lot going on here, and most of it looks favorable to me. Um, hmm. Screw it. Here we go. This looks interesting. Honestly. Our opponent's center pawn is loose, so if we got a knight all the way up there, that'd be good for us. Also, we could threaten knight takes pawn and promote the pawn next to their rook. Um, I keep forgetting they don't have to play bishop takes bishop here. But still, this is interesting. If I chase this, they protect it. Oh, I don't want to block my rook. That'd be terrible. Um. Well, actually, if they start protecting this, I could drop a bishop behind their silver. This is fine. I guess the normal move would have been to bring the silver toward this and hit that directly, instead of what I've done. So maybe I should have some second thoughts here, but it's too late for second thoughts. I was really banking on bishop takes bishop and didn't seriously consider this line. And now I'm seriously considering it and not liking it so much. Um, if I push, if they drop, if I take, they take, I push, they take, I take. It's fine. Uh, can I do better? No. Not really. Let's do it. It looks reasonable enough to me. Oh no, my opponent has a communication error. Oh, they're back. 
I felt a bit bad there for a second because their position is actually decent. I wouldn't want a communication error to decide this exciting game. Um. Okay. I keep asking, could you please exchange bishops here? I think they're eventually going to say yes. I'm wondering, though, if they take here, should I take back with the rook? Either way, it's awkward. Um, yeah, no, rook takes actually looks like my safest option here. And sure, they get my rook, and we all know I have a pro-rook bias. But this is a position which favors having bishops over rooks, because, like, I don't know, a lot of lines are blocked to a rook, and a lot of lines are open to a bishop. So, I have two pawns, meaning I can drop a pawn here if they take, and then I can drop a pawn here. Um, also I could just drop the pawn here directly. Nanafun. They take my knight, my gold is hanging. That's not great. Um... Hmm. Well, if I drop, they take, if I take, they take... No, yeah, they can take here again, I can take there. I don't know. If I drop a pawn here, they go back there. And I don't seem to have a way to break that impasse. Hmm. Now, there is one other thing I can do. I think this will be fine. Actually, there's more than one other thing. I can bring the gold over to strike the dragon. Maybe it's not so bad. Okay. They picked the easy line here. It's quite reasonable. Um... Hmm. Okay, we're going to prevent this rook from advancing. And walk directly into a fork. Oh, okay, I could have seen that coming. Uh, that's not great. Damn. Um. Hmm. Alright, let's fight back a bit. To the extent we can. <sighs> this is pretty bad. <laughs> This is why you don't float your pieces so aggressively in the opening. It usually doesn't work out. I considered this fork too, but then my horse gets trapped in the corner. Um, so, I mean, there's some reward here, but it sucks. And, yeah, my pain is going to continue for a long time here. Well, I might be able to promote my rook if I'm lucky. Um. Go mm -hmm. well, my rook's not hanging yet. It's almost hanging. Um. Yeah, this is still not a bad move. I do like my rook a lot. OK. 
Okay. Where is this going? Oh, are they taking my silver next? My idea was to bring the rook out and take the knight. If they take the silver, I have all the more encouragement to do just that. Hmm. That's pretty serious. That's pretty serious. I can't even add a piece to, like, defend this better. Um... Wow. I guess I have one option here. Uh, it sucks, but that seems... To... Oh, wait, this doesn't work. I'm not sure if this works. It probably doesn't. Um... But with my back to the wall, I find moves that I don't have any choice but to make. Um. Hmm. If I go back here, they just fork me again. Everything is fine. No two people are not on fire. To quote Home Star Runner. <laughs> yeah, this is a dilemma. Thankfully, we've got this bishop. They don't have it. So maybe somehow this isn't as bad as it looks. These two silvers actually do well. Uh, opposing this one gold. So, yeah, maybe I survive this. Um, let's not get checked here. If they do drop a gold general, then I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe taking... Oh! Oh! Well, okay, I'm on this file regardless of which of the two scores I pick. But that does sting quite a bit. Um, hmm. Something. Well, my rook has this covered. It's pretty weird. Wait, if I take, dragon takes, pawn drop, gold drop, king back, dragon takes, uh, no, gold drop, rook takes. Alright, I'm either blind or smart. One of these two. Time to find out which. <laughs> oh, they have a pawn drop, don't they? Yeah, the pawn drop is bad news for me. Because... Yeah. Um... I've got one option there. And that's not a pleasant option. Lance takes seems to be next. 
What a weird tactic. Yep. All right. Um... Let's say that I'm not good at edge file tactics. That seems to be accurate. If I take and they have a dragon and I drop here. I mean I don't have a choice. We're gonna do what we have to do here. It's only a rook. Um. Okay, let's take that. I'm completely forgetting what my opponent has in hand. They have a gold general. This is way scarier than I thought it was. I should have just blocked the rook. No, I can't with a pawn, though. And I didn't have this gold to block with. Not that the gold is a good blocking piece in this case, but still. Oh. I took the gold because, like, I'm not going to get to checkmate without a gold. But... I'm pretty dead. Dragon, king, gold, king, rook, something. Like, this does not work. This does not line up correctly to protect this square. I got excited because the announcer announced the time. That's my fault. Thanks for the game. Nicely played. Let's play another game. Perhaps this time... I don't know, I got excited there. Let's see what opening we play. Good luck. Right hand, fourth foul rook. I'll believe that when I see it. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure. Why not? This looks kind of fun. It's perhaps not the soundest opening in my part. Okay. You've got my curiosity. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know what I should have done. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Can't fix it now. Um, there is one thing I could do though. Let's just play this.
Oh, I've completely ignored that. Well, damn. This is not going to go well. This is going to go no better than the previous game. <laughs> and perhaps a whole lot worse. Well then, um, yes, we saw this, maybe, not really. I should have seen this. Um, hmm. Well, there is one tactic here. It's not good. It's not terrible. Let's do it. It's knuckle puck time. <laughs> All right. Um. So it's not so subtle, is it? But, yeah, I'm able to break up their castle this way. Um, there's some merit to that idea. Not a lot. Nanafumi. Okay, we'll try to bring this castle together and not get completely screwed here. Let's just go, go, go. Next, we're just going to drop as close to the king as we can get and hope that it's close enough. Oh, wow. Um, what an unexpected visitor. I guess we might as well say hi. Hello. All right. I got my rook. Oh, that's clever too. Um That is very close to my king. Should I feel uncomfortable? Yes. Most definitely. All right, we'll defend it. Mm hmm. I hear ya. I hear ya. So now what? Hope that I'm not mated? I don't think I am. I spent enough time to... You know, I mean, they get the corner, but... Um, I've only got a rook and two generals here instead of having my glorious, glorious bishop. It's quite sad, but... Oh, a rook there is kind of scary, actually. That rook's pretty scary, too. Uh, let's put a wall there. Uh, 
We're going to wall our king in from both sides just to make sure it's safe, <laughs> which generally has the opposite effect, but sure. What can you do? Oh, I can't defend from the head anymore. Um, hmm. That's an issue. Damn. Well, we're going to fight here then. I gave up two pieces to get a lance. Do I know how much the pieces are worth? I'm starting to think that I don't. Oh, we do have a lance of our own. It's not the worst, but um Gofun. I don't know where my lance should go. I guess this is the best place I can find for it. This is fine. <laughs> Until they drop a piece there. Mm, that's not great. Yeah, my king is going to get a nice jog around the board at this point. Oh, that hits my lance. And my dragon. Okay. Curious. I see. Not a terrible idea. Um... Hmm. Oh, actually there is a problem with it. That's a little detail. Although I forgot they also have a bishop. So they can block my fork, but I can still take the dragon anyway. Um, yeah, let's take that. How do I attack now? It's a bit scary. I mean, this more looks like it's making a threat than actually makes one. I'm not sure that this threat actually does anything useful, other than try to scare my opponent. But no, I'm trying to drop a pawn here, is my point. Yeah, I couldn't spook them out of this. Um, so we'll just confine the bishop this way. Because we need this diagonal. Um, that's going to be too much too useful for their defense, so I have to take it out. Fuck. I forgot about this. Uh, that's a problem. Something. That is a major problem. Um... This looks like my best chance, I guess. 
my king needs to run. So like I said, time for our jog in the park. A easy way. Um, okay, so in software development, there's in design and development, there's a concept called the XY problem. Um, where you have problem X and then Y is your solution to X and you're asking about how do I achieve Y without really explaining what X is. Uh, in this case, I have to ask, okay, uh, why do you ask? What's your actual question? A table basis for variance. Hmm. I'm still trying to think why you might need that. Uh, to some extent, they already exist, too. So I'm also thinking why you need to generate them instead of using them. Nifun. Oh wait, they're ta threatening this pawn here. Um, hmm. Okay, racing kings doesn't yet exist. That one in particular, I don't know that it'd be easy to generate. Um, I wrote a generator once. It took a lot of work, and it broke repeatedly. It only had to run successfully once. Hmm. Well, let's not check. Hmm, this is a very difficult position.
30秒。I don't have a choice. I have to take it. it sucks. Jubio. Thanks for the game. Oh boy, that was something. All right, let's play another. Um, yeah, there's a tool to generate. Uh, good luck. There is a tool which can be used to generate these table bases. Um, I just took that code. Um, and, goodness, where is that code even? It's been years since I dealt with it, but I had to change it. Oh, wow. It's another thing. I had to change that code to be able to pass in a variant every time it iterated through the loop, or I was using like templates. It was C++ code called from a Python script. Um, but yeah, how did, where would I find this thing? I think the, the repository name is simply TB, Tango Bravo. Um, Uh, it hurts looking at this. Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to find the link to the tool. Um, I may or may not have that available. I think uh, if you look on GitHub for a Zizigy one, I think you'll find the author of the original table base generator. Or rather, no, he was the guy who forwarded it to Rust. Um, but I think he also had a very large part in the original development of this in Stockfish. I think. All right, so I'm pretty much 
announcing my doom here, no matter what I do. Hmm. All my pieces are floating, but could be worse. Let's do it. Yeah, I think that's the one where I copied from that other guy. From Ronald Deman. I think that's the one, though, where I, you'll see some code for, like, anti-chess in there. And some code for some other variant. Well, I'm down 38 seconds, but about to be completely winning, so I think that's time well spent. Yeah, I think somehow them allowing me to do this rook drop in a situation where they're completely unprepared for it is going to be a problem for them. Whereas, like, I evaluated that, like, okay, yeah, I don't like if they drop a rook at my camp, but I'm actually kind of decently prepared for it. Um, so, which do I take first? The knight's more useful, so I take the knight. No, the lance is useful, too. Um, the lance I can use to repel this damn silver. So, yeah, I think I'm sitting okay here. It's not like the knight's going anywhere. I would have liked to, like, wouldn't it be epic if I could checkmate right there and then, but I didn't have the pieces for it. Communication it says disorder, but I think it just means communication error. This one, I would be less heartbroken if accidentally the connection just didn't get reestablished. I mean, yeah, they have chances here. Yeah, if their connection comes back, then we certainly will continue the game, but I'm okay with accepting this win. So with that... We have two losses and a decision that was made by an internet connection. But I think I was doing okay. Maybe I should have taken the night. Let me know what you think in the comments below, as they all say on YouTube. But anyway, yeah, I hope that was fun. Uh, I'll see you next time.